Welcome to another video from Lockdown Electronics with me Bill and this time we're going to take a look at this little device which has been kindly provided for me to review by IC Station and it's officially called a, a DC DC step up converter module um, and that is essentially what it is and later on you'll hear me refer to it as a a little bit like a DC transformer and in a sense um, it does do the kind of thing that a step-up transformer would do except it uh, does it for DC. Um, so let's start by getting the macro lens out and having a closer look at exactly what is on this tiny little circuit board. Okay let's take a close look at then at this uh, little module and this is uh, considerably larger than reality. Actual size about 36 by 17 millimeters something like that and you can see the board is dominated by on the left hand side there the multi-turn potentiometer on the right hand side the inductor and the bit uh, that does the heavy lifting is actually one of the smaller components now i've soldered on the four pin headers so i could do some testing um, otherwise uh, this is uh, what you get and currently on the ic station website you'll find a link in the description um, they're just over a dollar at the moment so we represent uh, very good value okay let's look at the details so the chip that does the heavy lifting is here and here's a close-up of it it's the um, uh, B628 and it's fairly easy to find a, a data sheet for that online so the data sheet suggests the following circuit the source of that being the shouting uh, 6 to 8 data sheet and essentially that's what you've got here um, you've pretty much got that circuit with the uh, only difference being that one of those resistors has been replaced by that multi-turn pot I suspect it's R2 it's difficult to see on the um, circuit board because the traces are covered up by the components but I strongly suspect that um, so yeah that's uh, essentially the circuit and there's lots of information in there is an example of it operating uh, with a voltage in of 5 volts and a voltage out of 12 and that's suggesting the um, where the efficiency is um, and with an output current of around about 200 250 milliamps uh, that's where you're reaching uh, quite a high efficiency according to the data sheet and there's um, a lot more information in the data sheet that I'll not uh, uh, go into here but it's definitely worth a look if this is something that uh, you're considering using okay let's um let's can the theory and let's uh, have a look at this device in use on the bench okay here's the test arrangements then and this is one of those situations where the test equipment here is far larger than the device under test uh, down here at the bottom so i've got the uh, voltage converter board here attached to my bench power supply it's currently off uh, this meter is measuring input current and these two meters are on the output that's measuring output voltage that's measuring output current and I've got a couple of 9 volt bulbs just wired in uh, series there uh, to give us a, a more substantial load so we can see what it's capable of, capable of and I've got the output set to about 21 volts something like that so I'm going to switch the power supply on and currently the power supply is set to about 12 volts so at 12 volts uh, the unit's quite happily providing us nearly nearly 22 volts here that's that's an arbitrary number i've picked to get the bulbs a sensible brightness and about 129 milliamps something like that is the the output current uh, and it's uh, obviously driving those fine so what i'm now going to do is i'm going to reduce the um, output sorry the input voltage and let's just um, see what happens remember of course this device is essentially exchanging uh, current for voltage in a way it's a bit like a, a DC transformer almost although the principles are obviously quite different um, but the effect is similar so I'm going to come down now and I'm going to stop at about 10 volts so that's 10 volts input and you can see we've had an increase on um, input current but the outputs um, uh, remain stable which um, is what you'd expect I guess although the board is obviously now working a bit harder so let's go down to 8 volts so that's that's 8 volts in and we're now up at uh, 380 milliamps going in 
and we're still maintaining a very similar output. Um, so I'll go down to 6 volts. So there's 6 volts and just over half an amp going in now, 530 milliamps, but again it's still maintaining the output and uh, we've got a visual indication of that from the bulb brightness as well. So let's now drop down to 4 volts and see what that does. So there's 4 volts and we're now uh, close to an amp going in, 0.94 amps, 930-940 milliamps. But again, output absolutely unchanged. Um, so I think that that's pretty good as the units, th I think the minimum input voltage is 3.5. So let's just, let's just drop down to 3.5 and see what that does. So that's 3.5 volts going in, 1.25 amps now on the input and output is... Um, uh, pretty unchanged really uh, so I think that's um, quite impressive performance from a, a small little board like that okay so a um, couple more tests I want to show you um, and I'll explain my reasoning in a moment so uh, same setup as before except now I've got um, 6 volt supply uh, this is measuring the input current, that's measuring the output voltage and that's measuring the output current. So I've got the unit set to 24 volts, as you can see there on the Kiwitz KM601. And as a load I'm just using my resistance box here because the um, current is much smaller. And you can see at 24 volts with a 6 volt supply and a 50 milliamp current draw, we've got just over 10 milliamps. Um, at 24 volts okay so 10 milliamps at 24 volts now what I'm going to do is reduce the voltage down to 12 um, which hopefully you can see happening and obviously you can see the various measurements changing so it's quite fine the adjustment on that multi-turn pot so we'll try and get it somewhere near 12 for you it's not terribly easy if I can get that to read 12.0 or something I'll be happy there we go I think that's 12 volts as far as we're concerned that's as close as I'm going to get so that's dropped the input current to 12 so I'm going to adjust the load resistance now till I get 50 milliamps uh, on the input again um, so let's up that and drop that and yeah I think what I'm going to have to do is yeah right here we go we get in there so there's your 50 milliamps give or take um, voltage just dropped slightly out we'll actually just tweak that now just to get actually a little bit nearer 12 if I can do it very fine adjustment there we go that'll do I've just made it worse haven't I really <laughs> um, this is my last attempt uh, drop that down to 12.0 something right, I'm gonna leave well alone now so there's your 12 volts there's 50 milliamps and we've now got 22 milliamps out at 24 volt at uh, 12 volts so the reason I wanted to do that is because if you're going to use this with battery powered equipment if you look at some of the spec sheets uh, and the spec sheets I've looked at were for Duracell double A's and for um, Energizer double A's the manufacturers like to quote a load of 50 milliamps so I thought it might be meaningful to show you the kind of current that was available at 12 and 24 volts if you were going to use um, 6 volts of alkaline batteries as the supply so let's say 4 AA batteries obviously if you're using um, a power supply this is inconsequential but that would at least give you some idea of the current you'd have available which is actually quite reasonable for running electronics um, with that 50 milliamp input okay final little measurement here I've got it uh, back at 
24 volts with um, a 50 milliamp drive and about 10 milliamps on the output. So scope is AC coupled um, and currently at uh, 2 volts per division. So that's the input. Obviously it just takes a moment, it's AC coupled so it takes a moment to settle back down. And the output, again there's a tiny tiny bit of noise, it's quite hard to see. It's, um, I don't know, maybe it's 100 V volts, it's nothing you couldn't um, filter out with a capacitor or two. So um, yeah, nice uh, clean output as well. Okay, well first of all thanks to IC Station for providing this uh, module to review. Um, hopefully you've seen it um, certainly does what it says on the tin, so to speak, and does indeed step up the DC voltage. I'm quite impressed with its performance actually. Uh, what um, I needed to do was make sure that the multi-turn potentiometer was uh, was backed right off before I started. It does actually tell you that in the instructions. And one thing I like about the IC station website is for each module on their web page there is actually detailed instructions of um, what the item is and how to use it. So I'll put a link in the description to that page for you can have a look. Um, but certainly yeah, um, that seems to do the job nicely. So thanks for watching. Um, if you like what you see here it would be great if you could um, click the thumbs up and also uh, consider subscribing. That will help me. costs you nothing but helps me out. Thanks very much for watching and look forward to seeing you on the next video.